The stretches that you should be doing every single day incorporate the entire body. It's gonna keep your joints loose, it's gonna prevent an injury, and it's gonna keep you mobile for longer and for good. The stretches are gonna be a kneeling knee, we're gonna walk the dog, we're gonna do a kneeling lat stretch, we're gonna do a front split on each side, a prone pec stretch, and a low back pec stretch. The first stretch that I love to do is this kneeling stretch. And if you can't get down on your knees, this is where you start, okay? So your goal is to be able to get down your knees. If you wanna put your hands down here for extra support, but otherwise, follow along with me as we go into this kneeling stretch, okay? So what we're gonna do, follow along. We're gonna lean back, okay? Put the hands back, and we're just stretching out the shins. Now, if you get a foot cramp, then just lean forward, release that foot cramp, right? That means that the feet need a little bit more mobility, but otherwise, let's sit back. Now all I want you to do is just pick one leg up at a time. So right here, we're gonna stretch out the ankles and we're gonna be stretching out the knees at the same time. We're gonna come back, resting here, butt on our knees. So we're really working on that knee joint, okay? So from there, we're gonna transition into walking the dog. So hands down, pop the hip up, and we're gonna drop one heel at a time, okay? Now as you drop the one heel at a time, I want you to pop that hip up. So stick your butt out to the side with the leg that you're pressing down to the floor. Now where should you feel the stretch? You should feel this on the back of your legs, into your calves. And if you push it out right, you actually will feel that stretch into your hip and into your IT band. Okay, let's get back down to the knees. Let's rest and recover right here. Okay, so from there, we're going to get into a kneeling lat stretch. So this one here, we want to take our hands, we want to slide it out forward. And we want to drop our chest down through our arms and then put the weight into the palms of our hands. And then just try and crawl your hands out a little bit further each time. We're going to hold this for 10 more seconds. So each time you're focusing on the length. Now I want you to drop one arm at a time. Okay, left, then right side. And what we're doing is we're really stretching out those shoulders. Okay, sink it down, sink it down each side, pushing to that end range. One more. Good. From here, back to the knees. We're going to slide this right leg out front, and we're going to kick this leg out straight back. Okay, now I like to have my hands down in front just for a little bit more support, okay? And try to go as long as you can with this right leg forward. So let's hold this stretch, take, take a couple deep breaths, and then what I want you to do is rock side to side. So by rocking side to side, so we're going out and in, we're actually working into the different parts of that hamstring and that hip flexor, okay? From here, we're gonna pivot into the splits, okay? Always wanna just spend a little bit of time in that groin, okay? Stretch out that deep hip flexors, and high into the groin, and we're pushing forward and back. Feet are nice and wide. And we're gonna go for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, let's go left leg out, okay? Rest that weight on the knee. Try to lengthen that, arm, that leg out as far as possible. Have your hands down into the middle in front of you just for extra support so the weight's not all into your knee. And we're gonna rock side to side, okay? Rocking side to side. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's get you onto your stomach. And this one, we're going to get our hands out to the side, okay? So bring that left hand out to the side, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to roll into that arm, but then as you roll out, you're going to push that hand out further. And then where you should feel this stretch is actually feel it into that shoulder and feel that into your pec. Now bring that leg and wrap it around. If you can touch the floor, then that means that you got really good hip mobility. So you want to try and breathe through this one, stretch out that pec for five more seconds. Three, two, good. Other side, so slide that arm out, 90 degrees, rotate your body, rotate your body, bring that left leg up and over, take a couple deep breaths. We only got one more stretch after this, so really focus on that pec stretch. Three, two, good. Let's get you on your back, laying flat on your back. Now this one, your ultimate goal is to be able to get this top leg, okay? So bring that top leg over and down. Bring that left hand. So I got my right leg up and over. My left hand is onto my right knee, and then the back of my hand is fat, flat on the floor, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push that leg down. Push that leg down. Okay, take a couple deep breaths. If you're doing this right, you're gonna feel that into your hip. You're gonna feel it into your low back. Then you're gonna feel it into your pec. Whatever's the tightest. Right now my hips are tight. So I can feel that in the glute for three, two, last stretch here. We're going to get over to that left side. So left leg comes up and over this side. My whole back, my glute, my pec is tight. We want to try and rest that left arm on the floor. So back of the hand down on the floor 
And if you can, get that knee while keeping your left heel above your right knee, like drive that knee up towards the chest and then try and get it down to the floor, okay? But you gotta breathe through this one because right now your body's fighting you. Deep breath and out, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good, right here, last one, bonus. Take your body, bring your chin to your knees, one big stretch here to loosen up that low back and the hips. Bring yourself up, roll all the way up. Let's get you on your knees. Let's get you on your feet. Right here, get you on your feet, stretch out the arches. Let's go hips up three times. Here we go, one, two, three. Good, walk your hands to your feet. Slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time for five, four, three, two. Hands all the way up, hands all the way down. And guys, clap it out. Let's go fit fam on three. One, two, three. And guess what guys? If you're looking for more stretching routines, in the description, I put a Fit Club Stretch Mobility YouTube series link there. There you'll link some of my previous stretching routines. I would suggest you do this one every day. On your off days, do one of the ones that we put in the YouTube series. See you at the next video.